So Danny, you do a lot of big wave photography and you put your body through all of these, you know, demanding conditions and extreme surf and everything like that. Tell us a little bit about what kinds of things your body goes through and what things you need to be prepared for um, to get some of these awesome shots. Uh, first thing my body goes through in the short break is, uh, they like to call it a Hawaiian, Hawaiian chiropractic <laughs> sessions. <laughs> so a lot of uh, stretching, a lot of beatings. I mean, you can imagine you're gonna be taking some hits and um, being towed underwater is a big thing. So a lot of breath holding, a lot of um, cardio, and I think the biggest thing that most water photographers go through is the mental mm -hmm. mental gain of staying out there and being calm. What are some of the big things that has helped you to you know, do all of those things that you like doing, um, but also staying safe and you know, making sure that you're able to get all of the footage and shots that you need. Well, every every time before I go out, I say a prayer. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. That's that's my main thing. So pray to God before I go out and big surf especially. But um, I think the biggest thing is keeping calm and making sure that I'm eating the right food, um, having the energy provided from the food has been helping me a lot in the water. Whereas before, I used to take supplements and kind of just depended on that. I mean, I still do take supplements here and there, but it's been more of like a, a approach to eating right. And that's what helps me um, shoot a lot more. Yeah. What are some of the most strenuous things that your body has to go through when you're shooting? So this past year, um, I've been shooting with my macro lens, with a 100 millimeter macro lens. So the thing about that is I have to actually look into my viewfinder while the wave is coming. Um, whereas a lot of other people are shooting with a wide angle lens they put their hands up and you get the wide angle shot. I mean, for both, both approaches of that type of photography, into that type of photography, you have your different aspects that can be hard, you know? When you're shooting with a fisheye, you could be like closer to the surfer and it, it could be scary, especially out at pipeline, you know? Uh -huh. Whereas with my macro lens, I could be close, but I can also have a distance to get the shot. Okay. But in order to get the shot, I have to actually be a little bit at a higher level in the water to get the shot with my viewfinder okay. to make sure that it's composing the wave, right? Okay. So when I'm treading water, I'm actually kicking up and trying to hold still to get that frame Got it. in my viewfinder. So what happens after you take the shot? I just pray that I get it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I mean, what is it like after you after the wave goes over you? I mean, what? That's when the fun part starts. Yeah. So I mean, uh, <laughs> if I'm shooting short break and it's it's all it's six to eight feet short break, mm -hmm. I'm looking in my viewfinder and the wave is coming. So I gotta make sure that my head doesn't get clipped by the wave. Yeah. So I'm looking in the viewfinder, kind of going like that to make sure that yeah. my head is safe. And there are gonna be times where that wave is gonna come, it's gonna suck me over. Mm -hmm. uh, right right when that happens, that's when I hold onto my camera, hold my breath and just, yeah. honestly, I kind of tighten up in a ball and just relax, take the beating mm -hmm. and the number one thing to do when you take a beating is to just relax. <laughs> yeah. That's what a lot of people, a lot of yeah. people kind of stress out about. Mm -hmm. But when you're taking beatings, you gotta just relax your body because the more strenuous you are, the more energy you're exerting. So sure. you need to sure. save that energy for the next beating. You know? <laughs> so how many shots are you taking? Or how many waves do you shoot? You know, I know you've talked about, especially with me, like long sessions, short sessions, but on average, how long are you there in the water? How many times are you doing this over and over? Well, I can shoot as long as the waves are good. When I was in Tahiti, I was shooting about eight hours a day. Yeah. 
you know that's when it's firing you got you got to get it when it's when it's going you know yeah. Yeah. so think about swells and weather it's got to all mesh together so when it happens you got to be on it yeah so i mean if i if i'm going to shoot all day i'll stay and i'll shoot all day mm. if the winds are going to get on it and it gets junk i'll shoot for an hour go home yeah. and do business you know yeah but in terms of that i i got to be prepared to shoot as long as i can yeah how how does your body feel after a day in the water shooting and everything mentally it's great mm -hmm. it, it it stokes me out. I'm stoked to get in the water, but on those long sessions, yeah, I do get tired. Yes. Um, so that's when recovery is key. Yeah. So especially when I double session and I'll feel it, then I gotta wake up the next day and do it again. So yeah. Yeah. you gotta kind of gotta gotta play it right, I guess. But when it's firing, it's firing. You gotta go and do it. Let's talk a little bit about your training and just everything that you've done over the past little over a year now, and. Think about some of the things that has helped you, you know, take better photos or help you get in the water more often. And what are some of the big things that you think happened over the past year that, you know, really help improve what you're doing with photography? The number one thing that has helped me this past year is moderation. Uh, and that might sound cliche, but moderation in the food that I eat, even the training, you know, like, before I would do workouts and try and work out super hard thinking that I would be really fit but here at Pro you guys kind of told me you know the right form is the best way to work out you know it's not about repping as much as you can lifting the heaviest weights but it's working out with right form and when you think about it you need to have right form in the water too because yeah. if you don't have right form yeah. Bro, your your camera is gonna be going this yeah. way and that way. You gotta you yeah. gotta be stable, you know, yes. to get the shot. You can't just yeah. be a kook out there and <laughs> yeah. just waving your camera around. Yeah. You know, you gotta you gotta go there with your eyes on the prize. Yeah. And I think that's what I learned over here is taking things step by step, eating in moderation, and working out with the right form and stability. I think that's a big thing that came to play this yeah. past year too. What are some of the differences? I mean, you always took awesome photos and you know got all this nice footage and everything. But what do you think some of the differences are, like over a year ago compared to now, what you're experiencing? I could stay in the water a lot longer. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I always stayed in the water for a long time, but mm -hmm. I, I was in Tahiti in October and we were shooting eight hours a day, mm -hmm. like for a whole week straight you know and I think about a year ago I probably couldn't have done yeah. that with an extra 50 pounds on me you know mm -hmm. like the energy just skyrocketed over yeah. the past year yeah how do you feel physically I mean beyond just the endurance and the energy levels how do you feel strength wise and you know actually being in the big surf when you compare it to over a year ago I feel like an animal <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, this is the best, this is the best shape I've been in my whole life, mm -hmm. honestly. Yeah. You know, I kind of feel like I'm in eighth grade again. It's kind of <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, just hyper all day. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, there are days where I'm tired. I, I, I I've learned to like listen to my body a lot more. Yes. Which yes. is like something I never really thought of. But mm -hmm. if I'm tired, I gotta rest. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. if if I if I got the energy, let's go do this. You know, yeah. let's let's yeah. go hustle. So I think listening to my body has helped me out a lot and I've learned that a lot through pro. Mm -hmm. and that's been a big help, honestly. Yeah, I think that's that's huge. I mean, even you've experienced that, that you've learned so much more about what your body needs, you know, what it needs to function at the highest capacity or, you know, optimally. And you're seeing that every little thing plays a part in that, like you getting in the water, uh, the way that you're working out, the way that you're recovering, stretching, mobility, um, all of these things collectively have helped you, you know, improve that performance so that you can shoot or stay in the water longer. Tell us a little bit about how your lifestyle has changed to support, you know, you shooting, you uh, doing more with your business and all these kind of things. What kinds of things did you focus on in the past year and what are some of the big suggestions you have to those that are looking to do more in 2019? 
a big focus this past year was eating right. Mm -hmm. That that was the biggest thing for me. Mm -hmm. I've added a lot more vegetables, a lot more fruits, whole foods, mm -hmm. just moderation. You know, mm -hmm. the processed food, cut down on that. I mean, it, it's just having a well balanced meal. And for me, I eat like five times a day. You know, mm -hmm. and it's kind of crazy how I change the way I eat, but I still eat a lot, <laughs> but I'm losing weight and I feel great. It's yeah. just picking the right mm -hmm. things for the puzzle, you know, yes. just solving everything for my diet. And that's what I figured out this past year is like, what's good for me to eat so that it will keep me motivated to hustle the business. Mm -hmm. and work harder in the water but moderation in what I eat and the working out I kept really consistent this past year yes I'd yes. say I come in anywhere between three to five times a week mm -hmm. I would I just told myself I gotta go every week just gotta yes. keep going keep going and there would be a time here and there I took a week off or I had vacation or something but I felt like if I didn't come in I just being a kook, you know, <laughs> like straight up, like I, I felt like I had to push myself to do it. And I think the biggest thing is seeing my friends mm -hmm. stoked out on yes. the results that I've had this past year. And it, it feels great for somebody to be like, oh man, you lost a lot of weight, you look great. But it feels even better when somebody asks, how did you lose the weight? And yeah. I kind of help them out. Yes, yes. So. That's been another focus is helping people out. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah, moderation what I eat, hustling and helping people out. That's been the biggest thing for me this past year. Yeah, I think we talked a lot about it a lot this past year, but really it was a consistency. You just did good habits that fit everything that you want to do to get in the water and all of this stuff. And you just did it consistently week after week, month after month. And I mean, you know, I think you're able to enjoy a lot more things too. Um, you're able to listen to your body and just figure out what's the better options for you that work well. And because of that, you're seeing all of this progress, you know, and all of the improvements that you feel in the water and everything, you know. Um, when we talk about last year, what are some of the big highlights of last year? Because it was definitely a journey. Um, there were, like you said, ups and downs. You know. The general trend was very steep, though. You were making a lot of improvements. So what were some of the highlights for you um, last year, you know, with photography or with just training in general, that you, when you look back on that, big highlight for me this past year was getting new clothes. <laughs> that was that blew my mind. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> like I went from a waist forty to a thirty-four. Yeah, so yeah. just that that was a big highlight for me. Mm -hmm. um, photography wise, I mean, a lot of things are happening. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just the way I'm working now is a lot harder. Mm -hmm. So that that's another highlight. Yeah, you know, I've been striving to be better, not only in photography but in life too. You know, it wasn't it wasn't extremely difficult or where you were banging your head up against a wall. It was just something that you just incorporate into your daily life. And I think because of that, you had the consistency and you could, you know, make this great progress over a year and. Yeah, you're seeing all the benefits now. Yeah, it, you know, honestly, before I came in, I, I, I don't know. I thought it, I thought it was going to be intense. You know, that's the thing. But it's kind of crazy. With I remember the first moves that I started doing was like a wall squat, and I was like, oh, this is going to be super easy. You know, it's like this is nothing. But then, getting the um, your guys' point of view was uh -huh. kind of crazy. Like, okay, you're going to do wall squats, but you're going to engage all these muscles. And I guess that's where it got pretty intense, you know. It was yes. intense in a different way. Yes. I thought it was going to be intense, like, okay, you're going to bang out all these push-ups and stuff, but your guys' way of working out is being intense in the right way, yes. I feel like, mm -hmm. you know. And, I mean, I could testify to that. Like, yeah. just coming in, being consistent, and... Engaging muscles that you've never I feel like used before. It's <laughs> yeah. kind of weird, yeah. you know, but yes. that's helped me out a lot in the water. Mm -hmm. And 
Yeah, that's that's another big highlight for me. Is uh-huh. just seeing how you guys work out differently compared to other facilities, yes. and especially where all of society thinks you got to go into the gym and mm-hmm. bang out as much weight as you can to be fit. I mean, if you want to do it that way, you can. Yeah. But uh-huh. seeing your guys' approach was really cool. No, I think yeah, it's it's great for our perspective to see the transformation that you made over time, because the intensity you did. Uh, exponentially increase as yeah. the year went on and we did do a good blend of everything which was you know all the body weight stuff all the plyos all the weights and everything but it's making this work together in a cooperative fashion to help you the bottom line is to help you in the water and I think that's what the experience is that yes it's challenging it's hard it's intense in maybe different ways but you're seeing it translate over into the water and I think for us that's the big goal or the big intent is to get you to perform better at all of the things that you want to do. And your training and everything that you do, recovery, nutrition, it all should support you know, the end goal of you getting in the water. It's not you're trying to be a weightlifter, you're trying to be a, you know, another athlete, you're trying to be a professional photographer that you know, shoots all of these big waves. What are some of the big things that you got working on with your photography business or other things that you're looking to um, get out there to all of your you know, followers and everything in 2019. So right now I'm working on my website. Um, it's going to be dannysapkowski.com. Uh, I'm going to have a bunch of projects coming up for that website. Um, going to have videos on installments that I had this past year. Oh, nice. um, yeah, a lot of things are happening. Actually, uh, HGTV just contacted me. We're going to have some of my heart on one of their TV shows, oh, House awesome. Hunters. Yeah. Yeah, so um, hitting them up tomorrow and mm-hmm. going to be finalizing on that. Nice. Um, but I'm going to have a lot of limited edition prints out, which is oh, nice. something I've never done before. Going to be doing that. Um, got hats coming out. Yeah. So, yeah, my Instagram is Hawaii Wave Images. Okay. And yeah, give a follow if you want to check out some cool yeah. wave shots. But I'm working on getting new products out there, mm-hmm. new new type of style in photography that's really popped up this past year for me. So I'm really trying to push it this year. Yeah. No, everyone should go check it out. I mean, you take great photos. I mean, I have a huge one in my house. <laughs> so I mean, um, it's definitely something that's very unique that most people don't realize how much work and effort goes behind the scenes to make you stay in the water you know keep you healthy keep you um, safe to do all of these kind of things and all of the work that you put in to that final pro- uh, product of the picture so i mean yeah people should check it out i mean you got a lot of great stuff going on thanks a lot of good things in 2019 yeah thanks man well i've known you for a long time you know going all the way back to middle school and high school <laughs> <20 years. laughs> yeah um, and I do remember you sustaining some of those injuries, your shoulder injury. Um, this year, you know, I was kind of dealing with some foot injuries, some knee injuries. Um, luckily, nothing too significant. But explain a little bit about what you've learned with that process, because that's what you know we see here on a daily basis, and you know we're used to kind of helping people recover from these. But for you, it's a it's a different experience. So explain a little bit about your recovery process with that. Uh, something I learned was patience. Mm-hmm. I guess. Uh, I, it's hard for me to not be in the water. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So I, November, I believe it was November, mm-hmm. I had a lot of pain in my foot and it was from tendonitis mm-hmm. from working in the restaurant and basically wrong footwear, you know, it mm-hmm. just wasn't, mm-hmm. wasn't the right thing for my feet and I guess over the year my feet were taking a beating from these type of yes. arch supports I had mm-hmm. and that ruined me so I remember around Thanksgiving I could barely walk yes it was bad like my toe you couldn't even move my toe it was the most painful experience yes I've ever had so I was out for about a month mm-hmm. and I was still having some pain in my toe I still have a little bit of pain but it's still recovering but pretty much like 95 percent there mm-hmm. But um, after that injury, I jumped in the water, 
and I ended up uh, spraining my MCL. Yeah. Literally the day I got back. Yeah. And that was even more frustrating because I was out of the water for a month already, okay. jump in the water, and then I had to get out of the water again for another what, six weeks? Yeah, about, yeah. about six weeks. Um, but my, my, knee's, my knee's getting there and I'm able to get in the water. I jumped in the water last week and it's pretty solid. So patience, patience was a big thing. And you guys were there to help the whole way, which was very helpful for me. I know I was getting frustrated at some points, but I mean, there's other people out there who have, I mean, I shouldn't even complain about it. You got people who have serious injuries out there, you know, and I learned that you should appreciate every day that's given to you. Yeah. And that was something that I've learned because you, you see some people coming to this facility and they, yes. they're they going through something way worse than me. So I appreciated all the help. That was oh, yeah. something that that really opened my eyes. And um, I think another thing that was kind of bothering me over the year was my shoulder because I had surgery on this, yes. arthroscopic surgery back in high school. Mm -hmm. But you were there to kind of help me out when I needed to get work on it, you know. We get getting stressed out and work that out. So, but other than that, keeping the eye, keeping the eyes on the injuries that I had, mm -hmm. like really helped me. Yes. Get to where I'm at right now. So. Yeah. And no, you definitely worked hard through the injuries, and I think the big part for most people when they get injured, it's just complete rest, or they start to do things too quick, or they start to compensate in ways that cause other problems up and down the chain. And one of the things that you were able to do, you know, you kept coming in, we're able to modify your workouts and um, make sure that you're still training, strengthening in ways that are safe for whatever problematic areas and keep that conditioning level up at that high level that you built up throughout the year. So I think for you, it's it's been a learning experience in that regard too, because you were able to still stay in this high level conditioning and you know great shape through these injuries too and then when you hop back in the water you know you feel like you didn't really miss too much of a step and, and continue shooting and everything ready to go thanks for watching check out my social media check out more youtube videos that i have in my channel hit the subscribe button or like and comment below share these videos with family and friends and i'll see you next time